all right, so we're starting with the, we're, with the abdominal cavity. So this is the diaphragm, right? This big, broad muscle here is the diaphragm. And then this large organ here, of course, is the liver. If you pull the liver up like this, that's when you can see this green pouch that's kind of embedded in the liver. That's the gallbladder, right? Right there. Then you'll see this another really large pouch here, and this is the stomach, right? It should be empty because this is a fetal pig, so there wasn't really any eating going on yet. Next to the stomach is this long structure here, it's this long thin one here. This is the spleen, part of the lymphatic system. Right? This is the spleen. It's on the left side. It's only a left-sided structure. There's only one, one spleen. If you pull all this stuff aside, all of this is your small intestine. Right? You can see, if you spread it out, you can see the membrane that's holding it together. Right? That's the mesentery. So that membrane holding the small intestine together is the mesentery, and then this big thick one that looks a little bit more organized, the big thick green one, that's the large intestine. It's not going to look the same as what we have in the cadavers or in the illustrations of humans. The beginning of the, of the large intestine, let's see if I can find it for you. Here we go. Is the cecum. Right, so the cecum is the beginning of the large intestine, and then you can see, if you see where the large intestine begins, you can see where the small intestine ends, that's the ilium. So if you're wondering, how do I know ilium jejunum duodenum, is if I'm pointing to a section of the small intestine and you can clearly see that it's about to enter the large intestine, that's the ilium. If I'm pointing to a section of the small intestine, and you can clearly see that it just left the stomach. That's the duodenum. And if I'm just in the middle, just say jejunum. Okay? There's no real other way to tell. Now you should also be able to see a piece coming off of the cecum. Actually, what we were looking at before wasn't the cecum, it was the appendix. It's just big. So this is, this is the appendix. It's a little bigger here. And then the cecum is the part that the ilium goes right into. Cecum, appendix. All right, other things you can see in the abdominal cavity is there's the lesser omentum. See how it's, it's holding the liver to the stomach and duodenum? That's the lesser omentum there. There's duodenum. We can see the inferior vena cava back here. We can see a kidney right there. And then there's going to be another one on the other side. All you got to do is pull stuff aside. You don't have to take it out. You'll, you'll find it. There's a kidney right there. And there's a tube leaving the kidney heading inferiorly. That's the ureter heading towards the urinary bladder. The urinary bladder is between the umbilical arteries. So these are the umbilical arteries. Here's one and I'm holding the other one. Between those is the urinary bladder. The ureter will head right to that. The other thing you can see back there if you pull the intestines aside is the descending colon leading to the rectum. It's green. And in the vicinity of that, if you peel away a lot of this peritoneum, you should be able to find a pretty thick tube. And that's the abdominal aorta. It should be kind of whitish. Yeah, that was white. Right, that's the abdominal aorta. And if you can find that, and you peel, again, peel away all this peritoneum because the kidneys are retroperitoneal. So if you peel all that away with your blunt probe, 
you'll be able to start to find branches of the abdominal aorta heading into the kidneys. And you'll be able to pull aside a renal vein, which will be blue, and the renal artery coming off of the abdominal aorta. Renal artery, renal vein, ureter, kidney. Right down there. Uh, let's see, what else? So now, this pig is a female. So this is gonna be tough, so let's see if we can get in there with the camera from like that angle over here. So now, behind the urinary bladder, if you pull that down, you'll see these squiggly tubes. They look like ramen noodles, right? Yeah. <laughs> those are uterine tubes or fallopian tubes or oviducts, so they're all, a lot of names for those. I like uterine tube. These are the uterine tubes. They meet, my probe is pointing down into the uterus, and at the end of each uterine tube is this small little, smaller than a pea, that's an ovary. So you have ovaries, uterine tubes, uterus, all behind the urinary bladder. And these arteries are the umbilical arteries again. Uh, the, the only thing we didn't see yet is right here. When you pull the stomach aside, retroperitoneal, you'll see a very granular organ right here whose head is tucked inside the, the C-shaped concavity of the duodenum and tail heads out toward the spleen. This is the pancreas, right there. <coughs> Great, is there anything on your list that I missed? Anyone following the list? Um, I think that's, um, again, keep in mind there's a left and right version of all of those things. Um, okay, I think, that's, I think for your, yeah, you're not gonna, the, the um, divisions of the large intestine, you're not gonna have to do on the fetal pig. Those are you're gonna do in the illustrations and the cadaver photos. So you're not gonna see the divisions of the large intestine. I showed you how to identify the divisions of the small intestine. Other than that, if you get into the thoracic cavity, then you can review the lungs. You'll see lobes of the lungs, one, two, three. You'll see the heart with the apex, the base, the right ventricle, left ventricle, this is the left, de uh, left anterior descending artery or inter interventricular branch of the left coronary artery, right there. We have a left atrium and a right atrium. And if you pull it down, you can see the pulmonary trunk right there. And, be and if you pull up the left atrium, and pull it down a little bit, you'll see the ascending aorta in there too. You'll be able to find that. Just like that. All right? And then, again, this needs to be dissected out a little bit more to find the things we saw last week, which, which you can see very well uh, labeled in a dissection. I have pictures of on the, on the website. All the vessels and nerves um, are in there. So if you pull, one thing you should take a good look for is if you pull the heart up, if you reflect the heart superiorly, you'll be able to see the inferior vena cava again, real nice, right there, heading into the right atrium. You'll pull all the lungs aside. So one thing I would recommend, take your diaphragm, separate it from the abdominal wall. And that'll really open up the things you can pull aside like that. And when you do that, you can see the thoracic aorta the esophagus, the vagus nerve, or I'm sorry, phrenic nerve, the phrenic nerve, and if you look right up down the, the side of the spine, you'll see the sym sympathetic chain of ganglia from the autonomic nervous system, all right down there. So sympathetic chain, uh, thoracic aorta, esophagus, phrenic nerve heading to the diaphragm so we can breathe. 